Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Roland Zambit. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can take advantage of uh, Korg iPoly 6 for the iPad and use that inside Roland Zambit. First thing I've done, I have loaded uh, iPoly 6 um, in, uh, on my iPad and I've just launched also Roland Zambit. So let's create a new song. And uh, let's close the uh, the drum editor, and um, let's go on the options on the settings. Let's click on MIDI um, output, and then let's go to MIDI output one and ensure that we select iPoly six, and we click OK. Right. So then uh, let's move back to iPoly six. Here we are. So the first thing you have to do is to ensure that you have um, your patches, uh, your preset uh, selected correctly. So if you go to the synth hub, you expand that, you select the first synth one that responds to channel number one. So let's select, for example, from the menu factory sounds, uh, a, I don't know, um, bass. Okay, that will do. Let's go to the uh, second synth. This will respond on channel number two. Let's go for another factory sound, classic poly. Perfect. Then let's go to drum, and drum will respond. I have other six part as you can see here, one to six. Let's stick to the sequencer synth here, yeah, edit mode. Click on the first one. That's fine for that one, the second one, snare, third one, and so on and so forth. So the first two synth will respond to channel number one and two, and then these other four parts, six parts, will respond to uh, channel number three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> okay, when you have done that, and perhaps you save that into a song if you want to recall it as well, so you have uh, all the uh, presets here assigned for each of the different part for the drum part and for the synth part. When you have done that, go back to um, your uh, uh, to Roland Zambit and start using it uh, um, as you wish. So for example, let's get rid of this track to start with. Um, oops, try again, delete. Okay, let's add a new track. Okay, an instrument track again let's close this window and um, let's expand the, the setting okay let's go to MIDI and uh, MIDI out select iPoly 6 then again MIDI out advanced MIDI and this time let's choose channel number two uh, sorry channel number one where we, where we have our base let's open the keyboard Okay, we can't hear the sound. Let's go back to iPoly 6. Let's go to our settings. Let's go to background audio. Uh, it is actually on. So, uh, synth one. Okay, let's go back to our Roland Zen bit. Okay, here we are. So it's now playing. So at this point, what I would do, I would just double click on the track and start to build something. So let's select uh, on the paint and do something. And let's click play. Okay, at this point we can add another track, another instrument track. We don't need to select any plugins. Again, we select uh, as a MIDI output iPoly 6, and then on the advanced uh, MIDI setting, we select now the channel number 2, which will be the second synth. Okay. Perfect, it works perfectly. So let's double click again on the, um, on the editor. Let's click select paint, and so let's uh, do something like so. OK, 
Okay, very simple, just to, for demonstration purposes, click play. Let's stop there, let's close this one. Let's play uh, scene number A. Okay, and now I'll show you how you can drive the uh, drum um, parts from my polysic. So add another track, another instrument track. Again, we don't use a plugin. We select MIDI as a MIDI output, iPoly 6, again in the advanced MIDI. This time we go to channel number three. And if everything is set up correctly, we should hear our kick drum. C4, so let's go and edit a simple pattern. So here we go, uh, let's select paint. And let's click play. Perfect. So, and you see how it works, right? So now we add another track. Uh, we follow the same process. We select again uh, iPoly 6 as a MIDI output. And this time we go on channel number four, which should be our snares. And we create again a simple pattern for the snare. And we click play. Okay, so as you can see, you have, um, it's very easy to drive uh, iPoly 6 in this way from uh, Roland Zembit. Um, you have to remember that iPoly 6 is not working as a, a audio unit, so it's very much responding via meeting events at the moment so that is why you have to drive it in this way of course we now used only two parts uh from the drums from my poly 6 7 but you could go on other other tracks and uh, use the other parts as well it's practically the same process i hope you found this useful and um, if you want to use my poly 6 inside the rollins and beta this is one way that you could take advantage of thank you bye